Assange has been arrested in London about an hour and 10 minutes ago, taken into custody at the Ecuadorian embassy where he's been living in refuge since 2012. Police served Assange with a warrant dating back to 2012, but it's still unknown exactly what it's for. All right, Judge, you got to help us with this. It just broke 30 minutes ago. You're the guy who hosts Liberty File. I recognize you from the app, Judge right. Andrew Napolitano. Right. Right. And I have so he was dragged him. out. We can't use the picture yet, but he was dragged out in cuffs. So he was dragged out because I, knowing him, and of course we all know him, I've interviewed viewed him many times. Mm -hmm. He's of the belief that if he voluntarily went out or cooperated with them, he might be waiving his claim to an unlawful arrest. So they literally carried him out. He that is technically arrested on a bail jumping violation, which is a very, very... Because they got rid of the sexual assault in Sweden. Correct. But they didn't drop the case. They just rescinded the charges. So there's no basis to arrest him in London for the sexual assault investigation in, in Sweden. He apparently has been charged with something in the United States we right. don't know because of this inadvertent release of a warrant for him. And that is probably the true reason for his arrest. He will probably be extradited here. We will see the indictment and we'll probably have a well, show trial. Judge, why wouldn't he just why wouldn't he just give himself up initially? And, and go to trial because he hasn't seen his family or his kids for all these I, years, knowing it's just delaying I have and to delaying. Tell you, I have to tell you, in my opinion, Julian Assange is a hero. What he published was truthful information that the American public and the world had the right to see. He's uh, a publisher, just like judge, we are. Judge, he, he does expose State Department secrets the world had no business seeing. When you, when you have private communiques with our officials, they should not be exposed or else we'll never have private communiques. I agree with you that that will diminish the, the private communications. But just as if we, working for Fox News, received secret mm -hmm. information, my God, the public has to know this. The person who gave it to us commits the crime. The publisher does not guilty, commit the crime. If he's guilty, will they use him as an example? I would think so. Uh, if he's guilty, I don't, if he's guilty I don't think he'll see the right. light of day again. So if he's brought to the United States... Uh, you know, he's going to say, I, I can't answer questions about where I got this stuff because right. I'm protected by your First Amendment. Correct. So I'm not going to tell you how I got Hillary Clinton's emails, right. but I got them and we published them. Right. Ecuador, by the way, said the, the Ecuador president said, we'll only put you into British custody if you promise not to release him to a third party. It might be, wor it might be just his word that he got from Britain. We'll see what happens. I don't think that promise is enforceable, Brian. Okay. All Meanwhile, right. thir uh, 13 minutes before the bottom of the hour, let's change gears. Top of the hour. Uh, Bill Barr yesterday said spying did occur on the campaign of Donald Trump. The big question, though, Judge, and we've already seen the soundbite, is whether or not the protocols were in place where the Department of Justice followed the rules or did somebody break them? Okay, so two things. There's another big question. Who did the spying? If the intelligence community, American or foreign, was involved, I don't think we'll ever find out about this. They simply will not let it come to light. When President Trump offered last year to reveal all the FISA information that struck a McCabe and those characters gave to the, the world FISA went crazy. Court. Correct. He was talked out of it. By whom? By intelligence agencies, domestic that work for him uh, and foreign. The other question, the one Steve raised, is intriguing. If they gave garbage information to FISA and FISA gave them a warrant, it is a valid warrant, and the spying, I hate to say this, the spying was lawful. That, then, is on the fault of the judge who accepted the garbage, mm -hmm. who didn't look at it critically, but it's gotta be who verified. Didn't, it, didn't ask questions about it. That garbage has to be verified. Yes, and, and that's what the attorney general said when he said, is there a predicate? Right. He meant, was there valid lawful evidence given to these judges or was it garbage? If the British helped our intelligence agency spy on the Trump administration and they don't expose that, it's going to happen again because they're not going to back off. They want Trump out. Do you really want to open up that can of worms again? I yes, got, what you say. I got a can opener. I'm willing right. to use what, it. What you say is absolutely correct, Brian. And Thank if you. a foreign intelligence agency did help the FBI spy on President Trump, we'll never know. Right. That's a big if. Yes. I know right. we've, we've covered we'll that. Never, right. you, and, you and I covered it. <laughs> that was two right. years no, ago. No, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> right. I took the heat. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> judge has Liberty File on Fox Nation. Thank you, Judge, for we'll being We'll be watching. Pleasure, guys.